Welcome everyone. In this video we'll take a look at Emmet shortcuts in VS Code. So Emmet is a plugin for code editors and ships with your VS Code editor and it provides shorthand notations for HTML when writing code in .html files. Okay, starting with the HTML template. To populate the template boiler code, you type in an exclamation mark and then hit the enter or tab key and then you'll get your HTML template ready to start your file. Now using the shortcuts, we can create elements. So we can type the element tag name and then hit enter or tab and you will get the tags with the cursors placed between them. Entering any HTML tag will provide you with the opening and closing tags. For custom components, you need to type it out in full, but as with any tag, the closing tag is automatically inserted when entering the closing square bracket. Although if you use a custom component repetitively, you can set up your own custom abbreviations. Skipping all the suggestions. Although the abbreviations are very handy, there are some times where you may want to return without accepting any suggestions from the predictive options. So in this example, say you want to return to a new line without accepting the suggested tag. So then to skip all the suggestions, you press the escape key or add a space first using the plus sign to add sibling elements. Okay, so here we can string multiple sibling elements with the plus sign, and then we get those elements all on the same level. Child elements with the right square bracket. So placing the right square bracket between the tag names will create child elements. Now notice how the section tag is nested and the cursor is ready for typing. Using multiple shortcuts. So now here we're using the plus sign, to add two elements on the same level and then with the second element we're adding a child element and we can add more sibling elements within the nested elements. Okay grouping with the brackets. If we want to add additional sibling elements after the nested elements we can group the nested elements between the brackets. Another example with sibling elements inside the nested elements. With the arrow up key we can climb up to a parent element and using this method, we get the same result as our previous line of code. So here, the article escaped one level of nesting, or two arrows to climb up two levels of nesting. So here, the footer was placed as a sibling to the main tag. Now we use the asterisk to multiply elements. So here, we have multiplied the list item by four. And of course, we can group. We use the period to add classes. So to make a section with a class of my class, follow the tag name with a full stop and then the class name. So the class is inserted automatically. And if we leave out the tag name, this gives us a div tag by default. And with multiple shortcuts, we can add a class here to our main tag. And you see we get the class inserted for us. And you can add multiple classes separated by periods. We use the hashtag to add an ID. So use the hashtag after the tag name and then the ID. And again, if you leave out the tag name, then a div element will be created for you. And you can add both an ID and a class. Make sure you put the ID first. And of course, we can string them all together. With the curly brackets, we can add text. So here we added the P tag with curly brackets to create the tags with the text in between them which is ideal for adding text to buttons to quickly set it up. And we can add custom attributes with the square brackets. So here, if we leave the tag out, we get a div with the custom attributes and values. And if we exclude the equal sign, then it will be left blank and leave a space between each attribute. For numbering, we use the dollar sign. So after your class name, you add the dollar sign before, you, before the multiply command and you get a number after the class name. And you can number multiple elements here, such as ID, class and text. Okay, tag name abbreviations. Some elements have abbreviations, such as BTN for button, HDR for header. A couple of other tag abbreviations include MN for main, FTR for footer, SECT for section and ART for article, tag attributes. For the A tag, add a full colon and then link. And this will insert the beginning of the URL inside of the href attribute. 
uh, link for colon CSS will add the CSS file ready for you to name and link favicon will insert the favicon code and link touch for iOS devices script for colon SRC will add the source attribute ready IMG will automatically give the source and alt attributes INP will automatically give you the type name and ID attributes but to set the type for you, spell it out in full and add the colon, then the type. Some of the attributes also have abbreviations like input colon C for checkbox. And then we have dummy placeholder text, which is used to populate text elements to demonstrate the visual layout of a page. One popular method is using Latin paragraphs starting with lorem ipsum. So to generate this Latin text, we type in lorem followed by the number of required words. And if you want to multiply paragraphs of dummy text, then multiply the number of lines. Or you can use the P tags multiplied by the number of paragraphs and then add the dummy text similar to a child element. So go and check out the Emmet cheat sheet for more HTML handy shortcuts. And note there, there are some Emmet shortcuts which don't work and some are not mentioned, but it's a great place to start and you can also add your own custom abbreviations and variables, as we mentioned. So let us know in the comments which shortcuts are your favourite, and in the meantime, use them to speed up your coding.